Welcome back to Crystal Clear on the Roundtable. I'm Ostrich Vox, and guys, we know this channel is prone to a lot of crackpot theories I've had in the past. Bismuth being an experiment by Rose, and therefore being a theoretical sibling of Stevens. Pink Diamond originally intending to be Red Diamond, and the Pink Diamond we know today was an overcooked off-color gem, and I'm sure there's a few more. But over the two years I've been doing this show, I've tried to wind down my more crackpot theories because, well, no one wants to be ridiculed on the internet, but also at some points it's just an inevitability. So today I'm gonna share my biggest crackpot theory I've actually been holding on for the two years I've been doing this and honestly I think it may have gained more and more momentum. So guys here's basically my deepest darkest secret my big crackpot theory to end all crackpot theories. I mean if Rose is pink diamond anything is possible. Granted it had a lot of weight to it a lot of foreshadowing makes sense narratively but a lot of people still doubted it and that theory is that onion yes our strange strange onion is actually an alien hybrid much like Steven. Hybrid of what you may ask? You guys already know where this is going, Sneeple. Now I know hedging this theory off another theory that's not even confirmed is a pretty big gamble. A lot of you may already be rolling your eyes, sighing right in the comments, oh my god you're so stupid. Well you know what? I think your little snapback is stupid. Yeah, yeah you watching the snapback. I think your snapback is stupid. No I don't, I'm sorry for that. Anyways, to reiterate Sneeple, Ronaldo insinuated they're an alien race hiding on earth disguising themselves among humans and have some hidden agenda. Now we know that Homeworld is likely fighting somebody, that they're at war right now. They need the cluster, something they reference as a geo weapon. And while this could be Steven Universe's Death Star, a weapon that's just easier to conquer planets and wipe out opposing forces, the fact Yellow Diamond is so adamant about having the cluster so soon makes me think there's an immediate threat. Not to mention we have her from White Diamond and a lot of us have theorized that's because she's off at the head of this war, representing Homeworld and all of Gem Khan. Now we know a lot of Renato's crackpot dialogues actually come to fruition in the show. I mean the human zoo did, what the Diamond Authority was and their grand plan was true, and even it can't go back, Renato references the moon base as Steven's moon base, which as we find out in the very next episode, Rose's pink diamond, so he wasn't wrong. That is Steven's moon base by technicality. I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility that Sneepo are an actual thing. Now the book Keep Be Chitty Weird, which was written by Matt Burnett and Ben Levin, former writers of the show, and now they work on Craig of the Creek, they're great guys. Guys, that book actually revisits Ronaldo's Sneepo theory and dismisses it, which I find really odd. Why not any of his other theories? That seemed to be an intentional nod or misdirect to the audience, to those who look deep into the show's lore to figure out what's going to happen next. And I think they knew going into writing a book all about Ronaldo that people would be looking into it for foreshadowing. So why not send them in the opposite direction? And as I talked about in a previous Crystal Clear, while there was a fake tweet from Ian Jones Cordy going around, an actual tweet he deleted of the actual story cheat sheet stated that Pink Diamond was on Earth to investigate something, which, in conjunction with the redacted dialogue, I believe to be Sneeple. But I don't want to spend too much time retreading this, so let's just jump right into Onion. Why do I believe Onion could be half human, half Sneeple? And by extension, Yellowtail, his father, being full of Sneeple. And I think the first place to look at all this is, of course, their appearance. Onion and Yellowtail do have human like facial features, but at the same time, they look just a bit off, most notably the ears. Now, aside from gems, we don't know any other characters in the show that lack ears. So that's very specific that they just left it out with Onion and Yellowtail. But from a character design standpoint, it could be a rule of thumb to have any alien species lack ears as a way to identify them as, well, alien. Not to mention, they don't speak an actual human language. They just kind of talk in this weird mumbo speak that Steven tries to understand, but you can tell he doesn't really understand. He just tries to fill in the blanks. And while I wouldn't think too much of this, there was that really really peculiar scene in the episode I Am My Mom, where Onion briefly says something to Topaz, and Topaz's reaction was just as ambiguous. What was Onion saying? Why did Topaz pay any mind to it when she didn't pay any other mind to any of the other humans' cries for help? Well, if gems can understand and speak English, I would say it's a possibility that they possess knowledge of other languages as well. So whatever Onion told Topaz, she fully understood it, leading to her concerned kind of WTF expression in her face. And speaking of Topaz and Aquamarine in that whole entire incident, in the episode Pool Hopping, Garnet saw a specific timeline where Onion was the one stranded on Homeworld instead of Lars. Which means that's a timeline where Steven still came back to Earth, where he could have learned something new about Onion. But that's a different subject entirely. All I know is, while they could have just used a random character to name, it could have also had some great significance in foreshadowing. Another thing I want to touch on is Onion's endurance, his strength, just the way he is. Whereas other characters in the show have real 
unrealistic human limitations, aside from, of course, Steven and the gems. Onion is comedically over the top, and I know it is comedic relief, but I would like for there to be some kind of actual justification for this in the show. I mean, this boy can leap from rooftops, cause mass destruction, break into Steven's house effortly, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Now, there is one more thing that could be used as foreshadowing. In the episode Marvel Madness, the episode now famously known for Steven giving Peridot a list of humans to abduct, but listing off his friends in response to Peridot's questioning if there's any humans left on Earth, Steven says there's loads of humans. His dad, Connie, Lars, Sadie, but when he gets to Onion, he says, Onion, I think. Now, yes, again, in that context, it was a joke, but putting everything into a different context, in conjunction with how the show used comedic effect to foreshadow roles being Ink Diamond, one example being in Bubbled, Ibos dialogue about Steven's gem looking like a pinkish, reddish rose quartz instead of a rose quartz, reddish pink, I wouldn't put it past the creative verse to slip something in so early. Not to mention, Steven and Onion are both voiced by Zach Callison. While Zach may not have known about the twist when he was cast, don't you think it'd be really clever for Sugar to cast Zach as the two alien human hybrids in the show? I mean, think about it, that's a detail people will pick up on after said reveal will come to light. It's super smart and it's just in line with what we know about the show and Rebecca Sugar. And then there's his father. Wait, Shane, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, Kevin, I have an idea. Okay, what's up guys, Retro Nemo here. I am absolutely in love with everything about this theory. I think it is 100% correct, and I think it's backed up even more by Onion's father. Now look at Yellowtail as a character, okay? What is he known for? Being always gone, being weird, and being like a fisherman? Okay, first of all, do you ever see him bring back any fish? Because I haven't seen that once, okay? We don't really know what Yellowtail is doing out there. All we know is he has a ship with access to the entire world, and he's always gone. To do Sneeple things, I suspect. I mean, why wouldn't he be doing weird Sneeple stuff. No one's questioning him. No one's on his tail about it. No one's like, where are you? It just makes sense. He's a fisherman. Fishermen are gone all the time. But in reality, he's probably doing stuff to the earth and invading with his Sneeple tactics. I don't know. His character just really backs it up. All right, I'm going to go back to my hole. Now, what sense would Onion and Yellowtail being Sneeple make narrative-wise? Because this couldn't just be done for shock value. It would have to serve a purpose. And it'll be so the Sneeple can be portrayed in a good light. Yellowtail being some kind of parallel to Pink Diamond. Someone who was sent on Earth to complete a mission to fulfill their duties and instead fell in love and started a family. I mean, as we saw in episodes like Drop Be Dad, Yellowtail cares about his family, he cares about Sour Cream, he wants to support them in everything he wants to do. So if a war between Homeworld and Sneepo is really out there and Steven gets sucked into it, the revelation of Onion and Yellowtail being a part of this race would serve as the catalyst for Sneepo redemption. Because again, there's no true villain in Steven Universe. Only misunderstandings and la yada yada yeah, 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 I know it's really corny. But ultimately, Steven could use Onion and Yellowtail to show the diamonds. Now all Sneeple are like this. And to show the Sneeple, hey, if they can get along with us, why can't you? And boom, happy ending for the entire series. Steven saves the entire universe. Credits roll, yada, yada, yada. But as always, these are just my thoughts, my crackbot theory, and I want to hear yours. What do you think about this? Could Onion actually be a, a Sneeple human hybrid? Again, I know it's crazy, but anything's possible. So please let us know in the comments below or tweet really to me at Oshbox. We're at the Roundtable on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Roundtable Viz. If you went up the Roundtable Grow, support us on Patreon. Get access to exclusive perks and have your name feature at the end of the video, like all these beautiful, wonderful people. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. Stay in the loop with all things Steven. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Oshbox out. <laughs>